scans illuminated myboscopy, the meibomium glands look darker than the background and this is opposite in infrared myboscopy when they look lighter. Healthy meibomium glands are regular, long, even thickness and do not cause sinking of the palpebral conjunctiva as here or have sunken orifices as here. Blocked glands cause convex ridging on the, pulp, on the palpebral conjunctiva here and it's easiest seen at the eyelid fold. Example here. The gland may be only blocked lower down, giving the gland a focus bulbous area. Empty glands can be seen as grey enlarged stripes. Gland stress causes irregular shape and width. Glands don't die completely. In many cases, only the far end that dies. And the gland seems unusually short, the deeper distal part being either empty or irregular. Or it may be that this orifice end that inflames and blocks, leaving the central duct and a cine deep in the lid without access to the lid margin. And sometimes these excavate to a nearby gland duct. Inflamed or blocked orifices set up enlarged or uneven glands near the orifice. Orifice inflammations always give associated telangiectasia of the nearby lid margins. Deeper inflammations are always localised and cause a cine death and damage to the leaving an uneven thickness to the gland and duct. Gland width irregularity is due to focal cine being blocked and degenerating. We think there are assumptions made about notching and orifice sinking. We reviewed the literature and find they assume notches are due to gland death and that is dropouts. The true picture we feel is more complex and these ideas are based on our observations. If the associated gland dies then the notch will form at the orif as the orifice sinks. It also forms a posterior notch as the overlying palpebral conjunctiva moves into the space once occupied by the gland. Dimpling, that is, simple sinking of the orifice, occurs in relation to deep distal blockages and dieback. The proximal gland may well be normal, but is unusually shortened as the deeper part is damaged. This causes dimpling without posterior movement. Full thickness lid notches are formed due to orifice and margin inflammations. The full thickness notch is really a crease and is caused in part from blinking which causes the margins to crumple and flex. So a normal lid margin may not show the meibomium gland dropouts underneath. There may be many empty glands or gland dropouts and still have no dimples, posterior notches or full thickness notching. However, we find there is a strong relationship between notch progression and gland death. To summarise, meibomium problems don't necessarily lead to dimples and notches, but when they do, the relationship is progressive but loose. And even with meibomium and gland health improvements, the notches and dimples will remain. The pattern of the dropouts, as seen meibomiscopically, relates to the cause. Mechanical or infectious inflammations occur randomly, and dropouts and orifice blockages also occur randomly, as position on the eyelids. Changes in the meibomium gland environment, such as increases in immune activity, such as in chronic smoking or ulcerative colitis, cause groups of meibomium gland to dysfunction together. Usually this is confined to the nasal third of the lower eyelid, these dropouts start nasally and increase temporarily in relation to time and intensity of the irritant or inflammation. Smoking cessation will stop further changes and, that, and also stop the temporal creep of the meibomium dieback. People with chronic dry eyes, well, your myomoboscope will give you a fantastic view of the related palpebral conjunctival folds. These may be from mild chronic inflammation of the meibomium glands and also for the tugging and stretching caused when one blinks. These folds mirror lip cough which are bulbar conjunctival folds from blinking over a dry eye. In short your microscope will help you diagnose dry eye and lipid deficient conditions 
differentiating between random causes and immune active causes. It will open a new world onto what is happening and for how long it's been going on for. Enjoy it.